This video is to help walk you through if you're having issues with some of the analog cameras on your system. If you go to your screen and you have any of your images showing either camera not available or video loss, we can troubleshoot to see what camera might be causing the issue. If we look at the back of the DVR, if we see that it has a yellow pigtail on it, that means it is using analog cameras. If you don't see a yellow pigtail and all you see is an internet cable, those are IP cameras, which can be troubleshooted in another video series. If it's analog cameras, the first thing you'll want to check is that your pigtail is still securely connected. You might be able to see in this instance, it's gotten slightly loose. So we can go ahead and unplug it, replug it to make sure it's secure. And you can even tighten the screws on the side to keep it secure in future. Then if we come back around to our screen, we should now have the camera back up. If you're looking at your screen and you're getting a picture from at least one camera, then that means that your pigtail and the analog capture card itself are probably good. There's probably some other kind of issue uh, with the other camera. But to be able to narrow this down to determine whether it's with the camera, the pigtail, or the capture card, we need to try to isolate it. So you can see in our example here, we've got camera number five and camera number three. So what I'm going to do is come back to the pigtail on the system and I'm gonna locate the pigtail labeled video three and the pigtail labeled video five. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist these to disconnect and I'm just gonna trade places so they're plugged in the opposite connector. This will help me determine if the issue is with this pigtail, this card, or if I need to troubleshoot something further with the camera. If you notice on my screen, the picture that I have is still the exact same picture, so that's the exact same camera, but it's now showing up in a different spot. What that tells us is that the pigtail and the card itself are okay, and this camera has something wrong with it. So we can now work with a technician to troubleshoot the issues with that camera. If I've already tried reconnecting my pigtail, but I check and I still don't have video signal, I may have something going on with the video capture card in the system itself. So what I'm gonna to need to do at this point is power down the system so I can try to reseat the capture card to see if that resolves the issue. Depending on your system setup, you may have your Windows Start menu showing at the bottom. If you do, go ahead and go to the Windows Start menu and select Shut Down to safely shut down the system. If you get a prompt that says no shutdown options are available, or if you don't have this bar at all and all you see is Digi Out Connect, you may be in something called kiosk mode. In those instances, you'll need to use the power button itself to power down the system. What we're gonna do is just tap it one time. The system will come up and say that it's shutting down. Now we're just waiting for that blue light to go away. Now that I've confirmed that the power has turned off to my system, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the pigtail from the capture card. And I'm also going to disconnect the power cable. You don't need to disconnect the other cables, but if they're in your way, it's fine to go ahead and disconnect those. You'll just wanna remember which slots that you had them from. I'm gonna go ahead and take my system and turn it on its side. This bar here, this is the side that I want up. I'm looking for the two screws on the top. I'm going to unscrew those. And this top lid will slide toward me. side of the system, I'm looking for the capture card board, which is where the pigtail was previously connected. I'm going to flip this lid up, 
I'm going to unscrew the screw that's securing that board. I'm going to lift up on that card so that it's completely free of the system. Just wipe it off a little bit at the chip. And I'm going to put it back in right where it was. making sure that it's securely down in those pins. I'm going to go ahead and put that screw back in place. Flip the lid closed. Put my case lid back on. You shouldn't have any kind of a gap here if you've slid it back on correctly and your screw holes should now be flush with the system. I'm going to tighten my screws back on. Stand my system back up. reconnect any cables I may have to have disconnected. Plug my pigtail back in. Again, tie those knots down. And then I'm going to plug the power back in. As soon as I plug the power back in, the system should start to boot up on its own. If it does not, simply push that power button and it'll turn the system back on. After the system is finished powering on, it may automatically log you into DigiApp Connect. If it does not, go ahead and enter your credentials into the system and then try to render the cameras that you were working on. If you see that you now have video signal, then the resetting of your capture card was successful. If you still do not have any signal from either camera, or if you're expecting there to be signal from the other camera, please work with your installer or your tech support agent to troubleshoot the system further. Up until this point, we've been looking at examples for a system that have a pigtail that's one DVI connector with 16 total cables on it. You may have an older system that has two separate serial cables on it with eight channels each. All the concepts as far as testing the channels are the same. You're looking for your number, for example, video one, pick your other one, video three, and you can just switch the cables. When it comes time to receipt the capture card, the steps are going to be very, very similar. We will have already powered down our system. We're now going to disconnect our pigtails. Make sure that our power cable is disconnected. Again, you don't need to disconnect any other cables unless they're in your way. If they are in your way, you can disconnect those. Just remember where they need to plug back in later. Similar to the other system, we're now going to turn it on the side. We want this up facing up top. Gonna undo the screws to take off the lid. Slide the lid off. Flip the slit up, undo the screw that's holding that capture card in place, and then we're going to lift that card out. Notice on this card, we not only have this connector, we also have a power cable. 
So we want to go ahead and remove that power cable, reconnect it to make sure it's nice and snug, and then we're going to put that card back in its slot. Sometimes you may have a piece of the card or a cable slightly stuck on the lip. Just keep moving it so you get everything lined in place. And then push that snugly into its slot. Go ahead and put the screw back in place. Flip the lid back up. lid back on. Again, making sure there's no gap there and that the screw holes are flush with the system. And we'll go ahead and put these screws back in. Set the system upright again. Connect any cables that we had. Connect both pigtails back to the system. You can do those thumb screws to make sure that those stay on there tightly. Once we have all cables plugged in, then you can go ahead and plug the power back into the system. And then you can log in to check your camera feeds just like we did with the other system type.